good afternoon everyone welcome to our pre match press conference ahead of tomorrow's game against kerala blasters uh, today's press conference will be addressed by the head coach dash buckingham the the process is the same as always please put your names in the chat box and if you have and once i take your name you can ask a question riddhiman yes uh, good afternoon coach this is riddhiman from kel now so to start off uh, may we have some insight into how the team is looking ahead of tomorrow's fixture uh, is there any probability of of any notable absentees from the squad Yeah, good afternoon, everyone. Well, Pooba, I can't believe you've missed out on the first question for the first time this season. <laughs> But um, in terms of our squad and our selection, no, we're uh, we're all back and uh, good to go. Um, Jaho, I'm sure, is the question that's coming next. Uh, Jaho trained with the squad yesterday, uh, and Jaho will join the training group today, and we'll give him the best chance to be right for tomorrow, um, and we'll assess that uh, on the game day. But otherwise, everyone is is good to go. I'm really looking forward to the game. All right, thank you for that, Coach. Uh, so, just another follow-up question. Uh, Kerala Blasters had a few shaky games, but then they bounced back with a three-nil win in their last outing. Uh, so, seeing how Mumbai also registered an all-round performance against Goa, how are you looking to approach tomorrow's match? I think we just keep concentrating on ourselves. I said I'm not too interested in the other results and how other teams play. Um, it's more important that we look at ourselves and make sure that we continue our run of form. You know, we started the season extremely well, um, and I spoke about finishing the season as well as we can. And you know, we come into this game with four wins out of the last five. Um, we've kept two consecutive clean sheets, and we've started to show some real good signs of how we want to play with and without the ball. So the focus will be on us. We must really make sure that we. Um, We continue the same approach that we've had that start the season well, and that has put us in a strong position to finish the season. Thank you for that, coach. All the best for your next match. Thanks, Adiman. Apurva. Yes. Uh, good afternoon, coach. Sorry for being late, but my question is that uh, it will be like a virtual quarter final. Do you agree to that? To this point, and how do you see the? confidence of the defenders after two back to back clean sheets yeah i can understand why people will look at it like that it's not it's not an approach that we're taking uh, we've spoken all season about being consistent in how we approach every game and that's something that has put us in the position that we're in which is it is a good one um, going into the final two games so it's important that we we don't change anything uh, in terms of how we approach this game and we certainly haven't done um, in terms of on the field or or off of it um we just must focus on making sure that we play the way that we want and uh we play as well as we can so uh, what was the second part sorry puba uh means how much confident are you after two back to back clean sheets that's been long yeah i think the last the last few games you know if you take the last five games in particular with the exception for one you know it was a, an area during that seven game spell where we conceded quite a few so in the last five games you know it's been very pleasing to see how well the the back line uh, and it's not just the back line and the goalkeeper but it's the work rate and the understanding of the whole team um to 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 sort that that side of the game out um it's important that tomorrow we we continue to do that whilst also going back to making sure we play the type of football we want uh, with the ball and some exciting uh, football to watch from the sidelines thank you coach just another follow up uh... since uh, the kerala blasters match uh, we see that uh, so many opponent players just isolate number 6 means in case of apuya or anyone so since then uh, the team is not go- quite good looking or i can say that not at their base so do you think that uh, the team can take a more gear in the next coming matches so it was was that our team's not at its best or the other team are not at its best Your team means Mumbai City FC. Yeah, I mean we're we've obviously missed a couple of players this season in in, in that role. You know, we're losing Roland Borges early in the season. He's a he's a fantastic player for us, and that was shown last year. So to lose Roland um, was a big loss, and and of course then to lose Jaho against Jamshed Bor um, was also another loss. And they're two very important players in in two very important positions that uh, are key to kind of what we do. What's been pleasing is how proactive we were as a club in the January window to bring players like Avnik Rai in to to help support us uh, and continue um, making sure that we can play. Uh, and what's been good is that, especially in the last two games, you know, we've played without Joel, and not only have we played without him, but the players that have come in have performed, and we've come away with two wins. So we've shown that we can play without him, 
um, as well as as Rawlin. Now, I'd love to have both of those players available for all of our games this year. But uh, the thing I am happy with was the performance of Apoya, whether he plays as one six or alongside somebody. And then those that have come in to support us and support us as a team. And that's been the, the big thing that's got us to where we are. Thank you, Coach. All the best wishes for the next match. Thank you. Thank you. Soham? Yeah. Hi, Coach. This is Soham from IFTWC. Um, so, Mumbai were tactically outclassed by Kerala the last time the sides met. So, will we see a different approach from Mumbai tomorrow? And uh, is there an added sense of conscious pressure in the camp about this game? No, I think if you go back to the, the Kerala game, uh, I think if you <laughs> it's a tactically outclassed. I think it was a, a game they, they scored early um, and then they hit a second just after halftime uh, in it. It, it, it kind of, you know, 2 0 straight after half time. And then we lost uh, Matada Fall. Uh, and then there was a penalty given. So we were 3 0 down. We had a player sent off uh, on the 55th minute. So, you know, it went to 3 0 and it stayed at 3 0. Um, so I, th I felt that was a little bit of a, a false indication, you know, of the, the rest of the game. We need to make sure, of course, we keep 11 players on the field. And that was a long time ago. It'll be a totally different game. Uh, we've obviously developed what we want and players are a lot clearer on kind of what we want with and without the ball now. So the last game for me is irrelevant. Um, it's important that we just make sure we continue on the, the road that we've certainly shown over the last five or six games that we stick to that. Um, it'll be a very good game. Thanks and best of luck for the game, Coach. Thank, Thank you. you. Azar, public. Do you want to ask a question, Azar? Oh yeah, sure. Oh yeah, sure. Oh yeah. Hi, coach. Oh, so how do you assess your opponent's Kerala blasters? Like, I mean, what do you think is be that one area you need to be at your best at? I mean, given this is a game where you know the opponents are going to go all out, obviously, because they need to secure a win to you know remain in the competition. Yeah, I've, I've, I've enjoyed watching Kerala all season, you know, for, for the exception of the last game that we played against them. Enjoyed watching them. You know, they've got a fantastic coach um, who's coached them extremely well all season. Um, there were some very good players that we're aware of. Um, but we must make, like I said, we, we have our, our own way of doing things. We have our own um, playing style. We have good players ourselves. And it's an exciting, it's an exciting game, regardless of the context of, um, you know, two games to go and, the, the build-up to this game, I know people are looking at. Uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it because I think what you have is two very good teams and two teams that will go out to win the game uh, and uh, two teams that will try and play exciting football. And that's the one thing I'm really looking forward to. So it's important from, from my side that I try and prepare our team as best as we can. And that's something that you know we've spent time working on over the past couple of weeks and certainly what we've done the last couple of days in between the last game and this. Thanks, Azar. Uh, Shantan? Yeah. Hello, Coach. This is Shantan from Sports Kira. Uh, so, I wanted to ask you that, uh, you know, uh, because this is a virtual eliminator, do you think both teams will be very conscious in how they approach the game and this could uh, turn into a tight affair? Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, I know there's been a lot riding or people are putting a lot on this game. You know, there's still a game afterwards. You know, they play Goa and we we play Hyderabad. So the season isn't done tomorrow, uh, although it can be. For us, it can be. Um, so again, we we won't approach this game any different than we have the last the, the last 17 or the last 18 games. It's it's very much just look at this one and make sure that we approach it in the same manner we have. Um, and make sure we stick to our game plan. And if we do that, you know, we've shown in the last certainly four or five weeks and the last four or five results, especially that, you know, regardless of the teams we come up against and the challenges that we face, that we're capable of coming away with results. And that's important for tomorrow for us. Uh, Coach, I had another question. So, Diego Mauricio has been firing all cylinders in the past few games. And uh, Igor Angulo, although we know about his quality for sure, but hasn't been at the finest of forms. So, do you think there's a possibility of uh, Mauricio starting ahead of Angola in the upcoming matches? And, you know, do you think this is a healthy competition to have also that enhances your attacking line? I think he equals our leading goal scorer. Uh, and he, he's, he's a large reason as to why we are in the position we're in with these finishes that, that he's had all season and the assist that he's provided for us. So, although he's not overly involved massively uh, throughout the 90 minutes, when he... When he does turn, um, when he does turn up inside the box, 
it doesn't take you much to score. And we've seen that, especially in the most recent games. So, you know, I'm very happy with the way that Igor has been playing and what he contributes to our team in that space. And then to, the reason we brought Diego in was to add to some add some firepower to that front line. You know, we brought Chante, Chante in to complement Vikram and uh, and Bippen on the wings with their pace and their skill. And we felt we needed someone else through the middle as well to um, to help uh, to help Igor uh, or to complement Igor. And Diego's come in. You know, we haven't played since the 29th of December, so it's taken it's taken us some time and taken him some time to get himself up to speed. And we we feel that he's pretty much there now, and he feels that as well with the trainings and the game time that he's had over the past couple of weeks. Um, so it's, it is always good, healthy competition. And I can only refer back to the the wings that we have. You know, with Bipin, Jante, and, and Bikram. It's always nice to have competition because it drives performance, or it should drive performance if it's done in the right way. And um, Really looking forward to, you know, we see that the other day. If, if Igor uh, isn't scoring, we know we can replace Igor as we did the other night. And Diego comes on and Diego scores, similar to when we had Catatel here. So whether they um, play one or play the other or whether there's an opportunity to play them together at times, as we did a couple of weeks ago, it just gives us different ways of playing. So it's a, it's an exciting one. Uh, it's just making sure we get the selection right for, for the next game. Thank you, Coach, and all the very best. Thank you. Thank you, Shantan. Just a reminder to everyone, if you have a question, you can put your names in the chat box. Riddhiman. Yeah. Uh, so, Coach, uh, I just wanted to ask you uh, something about Mehtab. So, he has been a revelation in the Mumbai City defense ever since he broke through to the starting eleven. Uh, so how would you exactly evaluate his performance and contribution to the team so far? I think he's a, he's a wonderful example of a young Indian player who has been very patient uh, over the past three or four years, you know, and certainly since the time that I got here, who has worked extremely hard to position himself very well, that when his opportunity came, that he was able to take it. And what I've been really pleased with, even since, you know, before he got his chance to start, um, is the way, how keen he was to, and is still, to continue developing his game, how eager he is to learn, uh, and how quickly he can take that information on and show it on the field. You know, he's got some good natural ability. Um, I think he's a, he's a wonderful defender. Uh, and having somebody like Matada fall alongside you will only help enhance his, his game. You know, there's, there's obviously areas to his game that we want and need to continue developing and working on as a young 23-year-old. But he's been an excellent example for young Indian players that uh, if you work hard, and you will get your opportunity. Uh, and if you've done what he has certainly done, that not only we get your opportunity, but when you get it, you'll come in. If you perform, you stay in. And that's been the reason that he stayed at centre-back is because of his consistent performances in that space. Um, and I'm very pleased for him. But it's important now that he continues to, to do that because there are other players in the squad that are hungry to, to get their positions back. All right. Thank you for that, Coach. All the best for your next match. Thank you. Thank you, Rajiman. Anuj Mishra, uh, can you just introduce your organisation once and ask a question? Hi coach, Anush Mishra, this side from ANI. Uh, my question is, when there is a situation that a team needs to win their upcoming games to be in the tournament, what goes through your mind or what are the tactical thoughts that you keep on thinking ahead of the match? Yeah, I think, let's I, I, I go back to the first couple of questions I answered. It's, I don't, you, you can overcomplicate these things. Um, you can build them up to something they're not. And I've spoken season about us being consistent regardless of the result on the external board you know whether it's a win or a loss not getting carried away with those um and the one thing that you know we started the season very well we went through a bit of a blip through the middle where we weren't picking up wins we were picking draws up and not wins and then we come out the back of that and we're now picking wins up and performances and that's been largely down to the consistency of how we've worked um not just as a staff group but also the behaviors of the players um, and how we've operated we've been very consistent uh, in how we've gone about our business on and off of the field. Uh, and I think if you stay consistent to your principles and you stay consistent to your beliefs and your behaviours, um, that's something, especially in a bio bubble, uh, that has been very important to us to get us back on track and put us where we are. So it'll be the same as this game. There'll be no further um, overthinking. There'll be no uh, mass changes. There'll be no um, huge differences in how we go about what we do. Um, it's just important that we get the team selection right and the, uh, the the team perform and play the way that we all know we can. Thank you, Coach. All the best for the next game. Thank you. Thank you.
guys, if there's any further questions, you can put your names in the chat box. I'll give it a few seconds. If there are no further questions, we can call time on the press conference. Apurva, yes, go on. Yes, uh, coach, just last one. Uh, the performance of two wingers, basically Vipin and also Changte, have improved quite well in the last few matches. So, how much important role they play to the success of Igor? Basically, their runs and also of the ball works. How do you see their performance improving so far? Yeah, in terms of, I, I continue to talk about a style of play and how we want to play our football. We have player profiles here at the club. Uh, and, and the player profiles for those positions, you know, on the left-hand side and the right-hand side. Those two players that you've mentioned, they fit those player profiles extremely well. You know, quick, skillful, uh, intelligent, uh, and uh, they create opportunities and chances both for themselves and for, for others in the final third. You know, and then we've got the luxury also of Vikram, who for me is, is a wonderful young player at 19 years old who has, when he's had his opportunities, he's come on and impacted the game and he really compliments the other two or compliments as a team and gives us a different way of going. Um, so to have those three players in those two positions out wide, they, uh, they fit the style of football that we want. They fit the player profiles that we're looking for at this club. And uh, as a result of that, they do create opportunities for others, whether it's Igor or it was Catatella during the season and now it's Diego. So they, uh, they've been a large reason as to how we go about attacking. Um, and if we can't go through them, we know we've got other players through the middle in, in the likes of Cassio, Bradim and, and, uh, um, and Igor can go through central areas as well. So it's, uh, I'm very happy with those two um, and the others I've just mentioned as well. Thank you, Coach. Best wishes. Thank you, Apoor. If there's no further questions, we call it an, call it an end to this press conference. Uh, all right. Thank you so much, everyone, for your time. Thank you so much, Coach. We'll see you in three days' time ahead of our next game against Hyderabad. Thanks, guys. See you. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Coach.